Hi you guys, welcome back. And we are back with the fifth part of my Tiffany Henier saga, I'm dubbing The Road to Recall, where we look back on past board meetings leading up to the trustees breaking point where they decided to try and recall Tiffany Henyard. Now, if you want to know why she wasn't recalled and what happened, I'm going to leave video links to the first through fourth part of this series for you guys down in the description. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So the purpose of this series is to look back on these board meetings and try to pinpoint the defining moments that stuck out. Okay, so moments where we see Tiffany Henyard showing signs of who she is today because I really don't think she would have been voted in if she unleashed her full fury <laughs> that we see before us today. Um, if she did that beforehand, before she got um, in the residence, good grace, she wouldn't have made it all the way to the mayor's seat. So I just want to say that. So this first clip we're going to look at is Tiffany Henyard talking about how Village Hall is in need of a facelift. Let's go ahead and watch. And of course, I'm going to chime back in. First, I would like to give the Village Hall a facelift. So that consists of a roof, which we just spoke about, a paint building that's the outside and inside. Uh, paint the inside, a nice pretty color, so we can uh, help with the morale. Um, put flooring down, we have carpet currently. Um, put signage up, signage up for department heads. So say for instance, you come in Village Hall and you're looking for housing or building and permit. So you know the signs that hang down, well, it's in the air, but they hang over that department. So everybody will like, where's housing, where's building? And also landscaping on the outside. So beautifying the area with flowers, plants, and upkeeping because we write a lot of tickets. But when you come to Village Hall, we need a ticket. So you guys, I want to say, you know, it's good that she's wanting to beautify, you know, the village hall, upgrade it and everything. But from the way she's talking, it sounds like she hasn't done any type of research um, into the signs. Like she doesn't even know what they're called, what type of signage she would need. Um, she's just saying paint. We need, you know, we need to do the landscaping. So it sounds like she hasn't done any real research on how much these things are actually going to cost, first of all. And so that seems to be a little red flag in itself. And maybe I'm nitpicking. I don't know. To me, I would think if you are in charge of spending the taxpayer's money and you have a budget, okay, you would know kind of what you're talking about when you're spending the money. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So I would like um, your input as relates to any of the items I spoke of, or if you got any suggestions or maybe something that I could have missed that you think needs some attention. So that's what this item is on here for. Anybody got any input? Only, only question I, or concern I have, I, we, with all these updates or anything that gets spent, I, I mean, I hope we don't see it. I hope the money doesn't get spent and then we see it afterwards. Cause you know, the credit card can get spent. Things get purchased on the credit card and we, we see it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do, we're going to go forward with this or are we going to, and I defer to trustee house on this, are we going to wait till the budget comes in? Because I know this stuff is expensive. Yeah. Uh, uh, so how, how are we going to talk about paying for this? Sure. Uh, and be, make sure we you know that the board is well aware of it. So we don't want to just get blindsided and we have to approve a, 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 a big payment for something that we didn't know about it till we got their board agenda. So you guys, a couple of things I want to address from this clip. So we have trustee Ed Steve asking a legitimate question. Are they going to know about her spending <laughs> off the credit card before she actually spends? Because this was an issue with her inauguration. So what happened was is she spent $14,000 on her inauguration when the previous administration had only spent $1,000. Okay, so there's an issue right there. And then she went and asked for board approval to pay for her inauguration after the fact. So one thing I was kind of thinking when I was watching these board meetings and I was noticing different trustees asking about the inauguration and if the village was supposed to pay for it or not. Um, one of my subscribers, Pretty Petty Mara, hey girl, hey, <laughs> um, she gave me a tip that some of the people who were running on Tiffany's ticket, campaigning with her, had donated money in hopes of it going towards her inauguration party. So, I mean, it makes sense to me that that's why they would be pressing her about the way the inauguration is now getting paid for. Um, and probably wondering like, okay, what happened to the rest of that money? All right. 
So I'm not 100% sure on exactly what went down yet. I'm going to do some more digging. Hopefully my subscriber can uh, help me out a little bit. She said she was willing to. So we'll see. And if we find more information on that, I'm going to add it in the next video. I do want to thank her for giving me that little tip, though. Gives me a little bit more insight into why they were asking her about those inauguration funds. All right, let's go ahead and move on. And we're going to pick up on Tiffany's response to Ed Steve's about the credit card. Uh, uh, so how, how are we going to talk about paying for this? Sure. Uh, and be, make sure we, you know that the board is well aware of it so we don't want to just get blindsided and we have to approve a, 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 a big payment for something that we didn't know about until we got their board agenda. Okay. So um, one thing about how relationships and connections with outside people. Really, Tiffany, this is where we're going to start. <laughs> we're not even going to answer the question. You guys see where this is going, right? Let's continue. Is um, They give you a lot of things. And what I mean by that is, um, I did contact Menards. Um, I got a quote on the floor here in Village Hall, and it ranged, I think, no more than $12,000. So I asked them to donate us the floor. So I'm waiting on a response from them. So we wouldn't even pay anything. So if you actually see me doing something, it would be, I got it donated. Somebody gave it to Village Hall. So I'm waiting on a response. Um, the guy did say that he's willing to do it, but he has to get an okay from corporate. So once I get that okay and I get the great news, I'm gonna let you guys know. Um, guess what? I saved the Village $12,000 because I went and got it donated from someone that's in our backyard. We spend a lot of money with them and I'm asking them to help us with several projects throughout the village. And right now they're on board for two of them. Um, that's one way. Okay, you guys, all I'm hearing is a lot of make believe. Hopefully they donate, you know, the floor or the work they're gonna do. Um, I'm reaching out, I have connections, don't worry about it. That's basically what she's saying when, <laughs> when they literally have a legitimate reason to be worried. Like this is her response from jump, you guys. So it's no wonder why the trustees had their antennas up like, um, OK, what did we just do? We need to make sure we question her. and We stay on top of her because her spending was crazy from jump. And then she can never answer a question. Like she just can't come out and answer it. It's just impossible. I have yet to see one of these board meetings where the trustees ask her a question about the finances and she actually comes out and just answers it. Instead of doing all this type of um, skirting around the question or bringing up other things that don't even matter because it's not in stone yet, first of all. She's saying I've asked and he hasn't gotten approval yet. And oh my goodness, lady, get it together first before you bring it before the board. Because that's one thing she used to expect of the previous mayor. And she used to demand him to make sure that he gets the board approval, first of all, and that he has all the information before coming before the board. In fact, here's a little clip of her getting on the mayor and getting on the department heads. Let's watch. And I could have sworn the board passed something stating that you could not go over $1,000 without board approval, without board approval. Without board approval. This for all department heads. When anybody on this board asks you for anything, I need you guys to deliver it. We shouldn't have to wait two weeks into another board meeting to ask you guys for something we asked two weeks ago. And that's a problem for me because you're the department head. So when you tell us something, we vote on exactly what you guys say because you're the department head. So I need you guys to get that in order before you come across this board, any department head. End of my statement. So as we can see, trusty Tiff Tiff had no problem setting the mayor straight or the department head straight. And she knows how it's supposed to be ran and she demanded that as a trustee. But once again, we see the double standards now that she's mayor. And this is just the beginning of her being mayor, you guys. Let's pick back up on her talking about how she's gonna get Village Hall done on donations and whatnot. Another way is reaching out to uh, our other government bodies that actually bring things into the communities, whether it's our commissioners, our state reps, and asking them for resources on how I can get it, uh, I want to say for free, but like a grant or things of that nature. So them are the things I've been working on. The third thing is, of course, the budget. The budget is always 
um, the last resort to have it paid by the taxpayers, but I'm always trying to find another revenue before I go that route. So say that I can't get certain things donated, then I will either poll the board through an email and say, hey guys, I'm in Village Hall, um, I'm trying to buy paint, or I want to get flowers for the outside and it costs us over my threshold of $5,000. And then you guys will either a okay it or or not but i will talk to chris Ferris, which i have been doing they've been telling me which line items and and where i can take money from so it will never be new money um that's not there i will never i'll make sure i budget for it i'll make sure i do run it through the board so you guys are you finding it hard to believe what she's saying just as much as i'm finding it hard to believe because what she's saying is literally something she just did with the inauguration okay so she's saying she would you know go before the board get board approval if it's going to be over her threshold well we already see how she snaked her way around that little thing with a loophole she used with her attorney when they chopped the invoices up so it wouldn't go over her threshold and she didn't have to ask for board approval so that's the type of slick stuff she's already done. And now she wants to throw out, oh, before I use the taxpayer's money, you just use the taxpayer's money to pay for your $14,000 inauguration. So that's that's just a couple of reasons why I'm finding it hard to believe. And I know the trustees are really finding it hard to believe as well. Let's move on. Anybody else? Okay. Move I'll on. chime in if I just briefly if, if I can here. Um, for the, uh, I agree with the kind of trustee Steve, uh, in just in terms of the budget, you ca you covered it already. So just making sure that we have it budgeted and things that within the line currently we're in budget season. So we don't have a physical budget. So, uh, if, it, if people will donate it, of course, I'm all for it. If not, I would say let's, uh, try to pause until we have a physical budget that's been approved. Okay. Thank you guys for all your concerns. And I do take it. Uh, to heart so i i get it. um no she doesn't take it to heart that's why she's sitting up there smiling she's like okay okay mm -hmm. yeah great mm -hmm. yeah let's move on thank you for your concerns but i'm gonna do what i want to do okay that little smile is like yeah mm -hmm. bless your heart i'm gonna do what i want at the end of the day type of smile oh my goodness and what's even more alarming, as you guys heard trustee Jason House say, is they don't even have the budget yet. So not only did she did this whole inauguration fiasco, she's looking to do village hall, do floors, um, paint, everything without the actual budget and the numbers in front of her. So this just gives us some insight of how she feels about the taxpayer's money. She doesn't care. All right. It's no different from if you work at a job okay and your manager tells you okay i need you to throw a party but i need it to be under two hundred dollars all right and you go out and spend five hundred dollars and you come back and you're like oh well you know i wanted to get this and this costed a little bit more than i expected and if you kept doing that do you think you would be employed there still i don't think so there are budgets in place for a reason okay so that people don't go completely broke <laughs> and unfortunately, it seems like that's where Dalton is headed if they're not already there. Due to, as we can see from the beginning, Tiffany Henyard's reckless spending of the taxpayer dollar. Well, she's always putting up smoke screen saying, oh, it's donated and I got a grant. And, but there have been issues about seeing the proof of the grants. Sometimes they don't even know what the grants are called. Okay, so it's always in one issue after the other, and it all comes down to her reckless spending because it's what? It's not her money. Okay, <laughs> um, and I think we all know that. All right, we're going to go ahead and end it here today. You guys, let me know how you feel about this situation, which is one of many um, on Tiffany Henyard's Road to Recall. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So once again, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave it a like. And if you're new here, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.